Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Preset tray is a well-organized group of instruments and supplies that are needed for a given procedure. The instruments are stored on a metal or plastic tray for use when the procedure is performed. Preset trays are made up in advance for procedures that are frequently done in the dental office. One of the most effective ways to conserve time and increase efficiency is to use a preset tray system which aids in the organization and setup for various procedures. Preparing the operatory between patients without the use of a preset tray can be a cumbersome and time-consuming task. Notice that while preparing for an amalgam procedure using rubber dam isolation, all instruments and materials must be obtained from the various drawers in the mobile cabinet as well as the fixed cabinetry. There is excessive motion and wasted time expended by the dental assistant while preparing for the patient. Contrast this inefficient method of setting up with a typical setup procedure using a preset tray system. Since most of the instruments and supportive items have already been placed on the tray ahead of time, the assistant merely retrieves the tray from its storage area and places it on the mobile cabinet. This method is much quicker and requires less effort. Notice that supplemental items such as cotton goods, matrix, articulating paper, and wedges are included as part of the preset tray. With this system, additions or deletions dictated by the treatment plan are easily accommodated. Auxiliary items that are not conveniently stored on trays, such as cements, liners, and anesthetic syringes, can be kept in the storage well of the mobile cabinet within easy reach of the assistant. Let's look back and compare the two methods used in the preparation of the treatment room. The action is accelerated to dramatize the movement involved. The sterilization area is an ideal place to prepare the preset trays. All equipment for sterilization and setup of trays is easily accessible. Notice that cotton products, articulating paper, matrix, wedges, and anesthetic are placed on the tray in the sterilization area. Preparing the trays as part of the instrument processing saves time and allows the assistant to inventory the instruments as they are placed on the tray. Once the trays are prepared, storage of the trays is easily accomplished. Metal runners may be installed in existing cabinetry or metal racks are available through the dental supply companies. In order to establish a preset tray system, it is essential to first determine the needs of the office. This includes the types of procedures routinely performed, the frequency that those procedures are done, as well as supplies needed to complete the various procedures. It is desirable to have enough preset trays to operate for at least half of the day so no time is wasted on sterilization procedures between patients. Let's look at a selection of preset trays commonly used in a dental practice. The amalgam procedure is a common task performed in general practice. Therefore, a larger number of trays is usually needed for this procedure. With the use of a visual guide such as this tray map, a tray can be quickly set up for an amalgam procedure. All of the instruments are listed by number in the order they are to be arranged on the tray. The tray map is a very helpful aid in training new employees in the proper preparation of preset trays. Instruments may be arranged in order from left to right or front to back depending on the preference of the assistant. Generally, the front-to-back arrangement is preferred because the assistant has a little better access to the ends of the instruments when she retrieves them from the tray. The instruments are grouped on the tray to match the phases of the procedure. 
for example, instruments for examination, refining the preparation, placement of materials, and finishing. Supplemental items include cotton goods, matrix, articulating paper, and wedges. Maintaining this sequential order facilitates quick identification of the instruments by the assistant. As an instrument is used and returned to the tray, it should be returned to its proper place in case it should be needed again. Whenever possible, it is desirable to use an instrument to perform several functions. For example, an amalgam condenser can be used to place a zinc phosphate base, or a small ball burnisher could be used to place diecal rather than adding a special applicator to the tray for this purpose. This approach to instrumentation can result in a reduction of the number of instruments required on a preset tray. Less congestion on the tray makes it easier to see instruments that are needed as the procedure progresses. In addition, the cost of establishing a preset tray system is reduced substantially when fewer instruments are used. Another preset tray that is frequently used is a cast gold preparation tray. Notice there are few instruments needed for this particular preset tray. The instruments are arranged in sequential order for examination, preparation, and temporization. It is desirable to include burrs with the setup whenever possible. A small magnet is useful in maintaining an orderly tray and helps the assistant determine which burrs the operator needs for various procedures. Burrs should also be arranged in sequential order. Ideally, all materials should be stored in the assistant's mobile cart where they are easily accessible during the procedure. The storage well in the mobile cart, in effect, becomes a large universal tray to supplement the preset instrument tray. As an alternative, if material supplies are limited, it may be desirable to have separate preset trays containing such things as rubber base supplies, cements, and composite materials. These trays can be stored with the other preset trays and delivered to the appropriate room along with the instrument tray. Additional trays may also be prepared for other procedures such as cementation, composite restorations, rubber dam isolation, periodontal surgery, or any other procedure that is frequently done during a typical work day. This approach is simply planning for the usual instead of the unusual tasks that are encountered in a typical general practice. Thus far, we have used the basic open tray style. There are many types of trays available, both metal and plastic. When using the open tray, it is helpful to use a rubber mat to arrange the instruments. Inexpensive instrument mats are easily made by cutting auto floor mats into strips of desired length. The mats prevent the instruments from rolling on the tray and helps in keeping the instruments in their proper place. This also elevates the instruments, making them easier to pick up. The rubber mats may be autoclaved. Another type of tray is the divided plastic tray. Notice that the instrument area contains a molded instrument mat, which helps to maintain order and facilitate instrument retrieval. The divided areas provide space for supplemental materials or bulky instruments. An area is also provided for storage of burrs. Covered trays are ideal for surgical procedures when sterility must be maintained. Trays are sterilized with the lids closed and aren't opened until the procedure is ready to begin. A metal instrument mat is provided. The cover fits loosely enough to allow steam to penetrate and sterilize the contents of the tray. Metal trays are also ideal for high heat sterilization. Color coding may be used as a quick means of sorting instruments. Instruments may be color-coded according to the treatment room, procedure, doctor, or combination of all three. For example, an orange tape could signify cast gold procedure. All orange-coated instruments would be placed on the cast gold tray. If these instruments were to be returned to a certain treatment room, a second color could be added. A third color could be added to designate instruments used by a specific doctor. This would be of special significance in a group practice. There are many advantages to a preset tray system. First of all, use of the system is very convenient. The instruments are always available for any given procedure. Should the treatment plan have to be changed, 
No time is wasted trying to locate new instruments. The assistant can simply reach for another tray should it be needed. Preset trays also provide for reduced downtime. All instruments are set out on one tray. The used instruments are returned to the sterilization area immediately. This system allows for quick change between patients. Since all instruments for a given procedure are contained in a specific tray, sterilization and setup of the tray is easily accomplished. All color-coded instruments are quickly sorted and returned to the proper tray. Use of a preset tray will aid in the development of an efficient team approach to dentistry. Instruments are arranged on the tray in the order they are to be used. With the instruments and burrs arranged in sequential order, the assistant is better able to anticipate the doctor's needs. This will enhance the potential for increased productivity and minimize the waste of valuable chair time. Rapid inventory of instruments can be made when preset trays are used. Missing items or broken instruments are more obvious when instruments are processed as a setup. With some planning and a little reorganization, a great deal of time and energy can be saved when a preset tray system is used. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.